Metropolitan police are asking for the police regarding recent cyber attack. Police believe it's cyber terrorism. Only terrorist any information on the disappearance of a young woman found dead in this apartment in Kensington. on the disappearance of a young woman. All units stand by for location. All units on confirmation of the square location. Oh, sugar. Sugar? None for me, mate. Thank you. Appreciate you giving me the time, by the way, Charles. Pleasure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pat you down now. <laughs> the look in your face. Come see. Look, Charles, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to waste your time or mine. The tea, the chit-chat, it's not exactly my forte. Oh, well, like yourself, Jason, I'm a man of action. So? So, Brian seems to believe that you're a man that I might need. And the little birdie told me that you were behind the locksmith project. However, what exactly can you do for me? Right, Jason. I mean this with no sense of humor or irony. What I do is unparalleled, revolutionary. I need to know that you're willing. It's either with that. You can do everything. <laughs> With that, I can do anything. So I hear you rob banks, Jason. That's some old school crime, I respect that. Yeah, but you see, Charles, it's not exactly as straightforward to rob a bank in the modern world. What would all that? Where you see an obstacle, I see a key. Security systems, CCTV footage, facial recognition, they're nothing, Jason. That's the easy part. No, no, no. No, what I do, what I deal with, are people. Okay? Witnesses. Detectives. Lawyers. Those who think they have you got. deal with these people? Well, however you want, Jason. Do you want me to take their money? I'll take it for you. It for myself too, of course. Or do you want an address? I'll show you the colour of their bedroom walls. Or maybe you want to destroy them. Hmm? Their image. How they're perceived by the outside world. The story. Story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> An allegation is a powerful weapon. What kind of allegation, Charles? You're the most deplorable guy. I, uh, edit a few of your messages, plant some photos on your phone, show your family, your friends, tip the police. Life over. <laughs> I can even 
and said, I can't do it. But all this to happen without a click of a button. On the off chance that somebody tries to get me. So I ask you again, Jason, are you willing? Yes, Charles. I'm ready to take a leap of fucking faith. I'm going to have to search you. <laughs> Sorry. If we're going to do business, I'm going to have to search you. What do you need to search me for, Charles? For anything harmful to me or my work here. Why would I want to do you harm, Charles? It's not me to work with you, mate, all right? All I want to do is make some fucking money. That's it. So you tell me if I came to the right fucking place. Brian seemed a little nervous when we last spoke. What do you mean, Brian? I just look in his eye. He wasn't quite himself. You know, he's probably just... I see that look in your eye too, Jason. Charles, don't you fucking move. Hands in the fucking air right now. What's in the room? Jason. What's in the fucking room, Charles? Jason. Don't open that door, Jason. Jason. Don't open that door. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I locked it to keep the strangers out. Open it, Charles. You're not gonna shoot me. Oh, I've read the files on you, Jason Thompson. Coward cop. <laughs> Do you know what'll happen to you if you fucking try to... Katie, by the way. What does she fucking say? Oh, how I love to look at her pretty blue eyes as she scrolls through her phone at night. It's almost like she's looking to my own. Yeah. Say another fucking word about her, Charles! Say another fucking word! Shoot me! Huh? Open the door, it doesn't matter. I'll get you on a countdown system the moment you stepped into this room. Very own story, Jason. Handcrafted by yours truly. <laughs> what would Katie think when she hears about the allegations made about you? Give me the gun, Jason. Give me the gun. And your integrity is safe.
Thank you.